welcome back for the first time on the cafe. We are so pleased to have with us the champagne lady herself, Real Housewife of Auckland's Anne Batley Burton. And of course, she's bought the champagne. And welcome to the cafe. Yes, welcome along. We, Thank you very much. We love a guest Thanks for having this. comes prepared. This is just <laughs> magnificent, isn't it? So you're going to give us a little lesson on how we should be drinking our champagne? I'd love to. Yeah, so and, my chance. Yeah, and start off with the bottle. What have you actually bought? Well, I've brought with me my champagne, Champagne Jacquard. Oh, nice. Which is one that's just won the coup de coeur with Guy Hachette in France. It's the best non-vintage brut champagne in France for 2009. Nice. You right. are spoiling us today, yes. Anne. So I think, I know, when you open the bottle, you turn the bottle, not the cork. Am I right? Absolutely. Did and very know? important, okay. notice I have my thumb firmly on the top of it. Right. Because sometimes the pressure can be a little bit too much and it's terribly dangerous. People okay. can end up losing an eye. Is it ever all right to make little chairs out of these when you board yes, the table? Yes, it is. I can it is. Going, it's very yes. cute, actually. Yeah, because you can make really cute little things. You can have little, you know, little plate. I didn't know that well, either. Right. You know, lots of pieces of jewellery are being made, actually, with this. There's a, a company called Perth Champagne Bling, something like that, doing wonderful things with nice. it. It's just gorgeous. Okay. So look out for it. It's stunning. It's great use for it. It's nice to see when, you know, products are yeah. used again, isn't it? You're keeping it? us in suspense here with your hand on top of that bottle there. Now, we're twisting the bottle, right. not the cork. Okay. Now, I hope that I this is duck. going to come duck. off <laughs> <laughs> like the sigh of a satisfied woman and not like a rocket. We need okay. to be careful. So let's okay. see how we do here. So Love it. It wasn't too oh, bad. No, that was, that was a very satisfied woman. <laughs> I held it firmly down. <laughs> Now, then, what about pouring? Now, very important that, first of all, the champagne is really nice and chilled. Mm -hmm. Yes. About six degrees for a champagne like this, which is a nice, fresh, Chardonnay-driven champagne. Okay. If it's a sort of a, a bigger champagne or one that's a bit older, uh, more complex, you might like to have it at about, say, 10 degrees. But this is about six degrees. I've taken great trouble to get it here right. Now, when we're serving it, put the thumb in the base of the bottle. Because my shoulder's a little bit iffy, I always put my finger under, but if you're a bit stronger in the arm, you don't need to do that. And then, pouring into these perfectly polished, now listen to this, this is the most important thing of the whole thing. These glasses have not a hint of detergent residue in them. And because of that, you will have fabulous effervescence. There will be a mad rush of bubbles. Look at those bubbles. But if there is detergent residue, there will be just a few bubbles winding their way aimlessly up the glass and it was so disappointing. So you've got to wash them in piping hot water. Piping then. hot water and polish them with a lint-free cloth. Okay. And you'll have a beautiful, beautiful do you pour, effervescent Do you pour champagne. your wine like this? I, I've only just learned how to do that. Um, but I... Slowly, darling, that's how you <laughs> yeah, do it. Yeah, that's everything in moderation, <laughs> slowly. Um, Never more than two-thirds, by the way. Now, I overfilled that slightly, but I knew it was going to be yours, Mike. So. Oh, good work. <laughs> <laughs> you know me well you already. Know. <laughs> you know, exactly. It's, it's like she was born to know you, actually. Yes, that's yes. really interesting about the glasses. So, you know, I thought champagne would always be in a flute, but can you actually do it in something like this? A tulip-shaped glass mm. is the best. Okay, nice. Because it allows the champagne to open slightly so that you get the aromas right. while still keeping the bubble. Um, so they're still narrow down so you get the smell and mm. you've got the wonderful effervescence. If it's a really big open glass as they used to do in the olden days, um, oh, you would beer, end up, ones, yes, mm. it would end up with... And you'd um, spill it all over yourself. And all the bubbles would just dissipate so quickly. So what do we do now? How do we hold it? You hold it by the stem. Good. I'm glad to see that you're doing it correctly. Yes, well done. Thank you. If you really wanted to be very, you know, you know what, you know how I know that. Out. Oh, well, you know how I know <laughs> how to hold it. It's not necessary. Watching your TV show. Oh, is that right? You're, te oh, well, you're teaching good. the whole country. <laughs> so if I'm going to taste it, what do I do? I smell it? Like normal, yes, like... yes, you're going to smell it. Mm. Okay. Right. And then what I like oh. to do now, this is very important. Now, this is probably just a little trick that I do myself. But rather than sort of eat the glass, you know how some people end up with lipstick all over it? It's slobbering over it, in other words. <laughs> we don't want that. <laughs> it's got to look nice and classy. I put the tip of my tongue mm -hmm. just on the edge, just delicately like this. Mm-hmm. And then, did you feel that rush of effervescence under the tongue? That it is... rushes under the tongue. It's just fantastic. That is beautiful I just champagne. It's really it is delicious. beautiful. Oops. Oh, I thought it was you who was tipping the champagne everywhere normally. The one sippies all over the place. Oh, Cheers. 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 Now, tell us, tell us quickly, how is everything else going for you? Everything else is going fabulously for me. So far, I seem to have come out of it relatively unscathed, so <laughs> I'm hoping it will continue that way. No, well, your laugh mm. is infectious, and you've experienced a lot of firsts on the show, too. I mean, yes. has it been everything that you dreamed it was going to be? You know, the first spray tan? Oh, 
<laughs> all those yeah, sorts of things that you've trip. experienced. I could have done without that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good. You've got all the other girls around you. They're yes. helping you build confidence and trying new mm. things. Yes. Has it been exciting? It has been really exciting for me, actually. Um, because, I mean, as Lou, she's always making fun about it, but I have never been on a girls' trip, mm. ever. And, I mean, basically I was sort of brought up by my father and my brother. He was there, so there was the three of us. And sort of, you know, when I was at university, I did a BCom, and then I went into the family business, which was printing and packaging. So it was all very male orientated. Right. And I just didn't have a lot of girlfriends. So it was a totally new experience for me. I was a little bit nervous, actually. I thought, what the hell am I going to be in for here? And then when I found I had to share, my God, that I wasn't know. what I was planning on at all. So. You know what, I think we're going to have to get you back yeah. in next time to talk about the pussies, because you're wearing all of the all of the jewellery, and there's a whole different story there as well. So, there and that has been wonderful. I look, I've made a total mess of my glass. I've got lipstick <laughs> all over it. I was trying too hard. It's been a pleasure having you in here. You too. Thank you so much for joining us and for bringing us the champagne mm. as well. You bring some back next time you come. <laughs> well, I will. Okay, I will. nice. And I hope you are going to drink that. I'd be terribly. I'm going to leave those glasses with we you. We definitely will. We will As definitely a drink it. Of having me on the show. Oh, Thank you so much. very special glasses. Thank you so I'm going much. to take mine. Oh, I'll take sure. mine. <laughs> You're adorable. Now, the you are adorable. Now we're on Housewives of Auckland screens tonight and every Tuesday on Bravo at 8:30.